Good day, folks. It is a snowy one here. And Jane and I are out for a little cruise and looking for places to explore. Jane spotted this on the side of the road here. Some bunch of debris. What caught your eye first there, Jane? Right. Definitely a green, old green door. I think that more of it over there. Some sort of vehicle. This will be a spot to come back in the spring. What do you got there? Oh yeah, that is some sort of plant pot or something. Oh, it's huh. I don't know. There must be some modern, some more modern stuff in here as well. Definitely have to come back in the spring. There's definitely some older stuff. There's a galvanized bucket here with a bottle in it. Well, that's fairly old. It's not blown or anything. Looks like it's... I don't know. At least from the 40s. Jane's got a mason jar. Is there embossing on it? It's just a, like a slick food jar. Alright. Okay. Well, no telling what might be. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff inside there. This is all frozen and under snow. There's another galvanized bucket. But this metal is definitely old because you can tell by how it's all deteriorated. And uh, I think it might even be, that tree might even have grown around it. So anyways, we'll get back here sometime in the future. Just spotted something on the side of this tree here. Before we get any closer, you want to have a... What the heck is that? Gene's going to check it out. What is it? I mean, is it like an animal, or is it? No, it's not an animal. It's almost like a piece of bark. Oh, <laughs> it's just an old piece of a sign or something. Oh, like a piece of fiberglass. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. A few moments later. All right, folks. I come back to a spot here today that Jane and I discovered, I don't know, a few months ago. There's still snow on the ground. And this is definitely a 50s patch for sure. We got a broken O'Leary's old fashioned root beer bottle. Canada Dry. Seems to be lots of liquor bottles and soda bottles here. Check that out. Woods Gold Anchor Rum. That's an ACL liquor bottle. I see something else right here, right underneath it. Looks like a complete soda bottle. Toy flashlight. It is. All right. I've never seen that before. Down East Beverages. Coca-Cola bottling. Huh. I wonder where that's from. That ACL's in good condition. I'm keeping that for sure. All right. This might end up being a fairly decent little patch. Right over here. I scratched this one out. A sparkle soda. That's a Coca-Cola company as well. And... I thought I seen something else here too. Oh, right here. Sticking out. This looks like a complete soda. Let's pull that out. A Royal Crown. That's in good condition. RC Cola. All right, so we're on the board here with three cola bottles so far. Not bad at all.
I'm in another different little patch here now, folks. But I got two uh, cobalt blues and a milk, a couple of milk glass come out. It might even be a little bit earlier section right here. Let's dig around a little bit. Soda. Plastic spoon. So we might still be in 50 stuff here. Some sort of perfume or something. Weird shaped one. Telling what might come out. Actually, <sighs> cigar tube broken. That might be the lid off. That milk glass one right there, I think it is. Yeah. Well, still digging around in this old, what appears to be mostly 50 trash pile, folks. Right underneath this thing here, I think I got an embossed soda. It is. I may even get the date off the base of it here. Forty-seven. Nineteen forty-seven. Beckoning Company. Callis, Maine. Soda bottle. Right on. Sweet. Oh, that's a good find. Okay, <laughs> okay, folks, here's something different other than soda bottle. I think this is a big wine bottle. I think it's one of those ones from Maine. Highly embossed. If I can get it out. It looks like one I found a few months ago. It is. It's a fair view wine company of Maine. Great looking bottle. Check it out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well folks, this is definitely a great spot to get some soda bottles. And some uh, blues as well, by the looks of it. Think of this big quart sized bottle here. Drink fits beverages. It's good. <laughs> Holton, Maine. There you go. State inspect at well water. Geez, that's kind of neat, actually. I don't know if I'll keep that one or not. I might leave it there. Here's another one of those sparkle sodas. ACL is pretty much roached on that one. Here's a blue one sticking out right here. No, oh, it's broke. But as you can see, the place is loaded with soda bottles. And I might go for now and uh, come back another time with Jane. She might like to find some soda bottles. If not, I'll come back myself. All right, over and out. Good day, viewers and YouTubers. <laughs> Welcome back for another bottle digging recap extravaganza. Right across the table, we have Miss Jane. Say hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. All right. <laughs> First off, folks, Jane and I 
did some homemade wine and this is uh what we got here twisted mist malibu sunset and this one is not opened however we are drinking one that is open cheers jane we also have this fancy unused bat shaped corkscrew that my sister kindly gave us corkscrew and bottle opener and i'm going to hand this to jane and she's going to open that up and in the meantime i'm going to look at this bottle right here speaking of wine we have the fairview wine company of maine this one come out of that site four fifths of a quart i put that clean cap on it there's no date marks on the back there that I can tell, unless that's 64, that might be the date. I don't think so. Now, Fairview Wines are out of Gardner, Maine, and they opened in 1948. I've seen somebody has one online dating it from the 30s, but I believe the company started in 1948, so I don't think it's from the uh, 30s. 1948 or 1950, somewhere around there would land more appropriately in that date range considering the other bottles that come out of there as well. So there's that. I think Jane pretty much has that corkscrew open so we'll see that here in a second and put that into action. All right, so yes, Jane does have that open. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. Got those couple blue ones and these couple milk glass out of there as well. All right, Jane, let's have that uh, bat. There you go, folks. Check it out. Pretty fancy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jane loves it. Check it out. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this done on camera. Hold this down. There we go. Up go the wings. Now, out comes the cork. Is that gonna come out? <laughs> Jane, do your thing. I'll, I'll do these bottles here. <laughs> we'll get back to that, folks. Two uh, ACL bottles right there. This is a 12 ouncer and it is dated 1964 on the bottom. Oh, there we go. 1964. Now that one is in wonderful condition. This more slender one, which is only a 10 fluid ounce one, is dated uh, 1965. So, just like everything, as time goes on, the products get smaller and they probably cost more money. And Jane's almost got that cork out. Oh, it's firecracker. <laughs> I'll stop for a second, folks, and we'll tend to that. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I <laughs> you got go. it! <laughs> <laughs> there it is, folks. Finally, after a lot of struggling, uh, the old bat corkscrew. And Jane is topping her glass up. And mine. There we go. Some tasty stuff. All right. Yeah. What's next? This huh. gorgeous blue bottle. This gorgeous blue bottle. Down East Beverages with the uh, ship on it. Check that out. That is cool. very cool. Yeah. A Coca Cola product. And there's no date on the bottom of this one. These, uh, the Down East Company was done in Maine and New Hampshire. The New Hampshire ones say New Hampshire on them, but the Maine ones don't say Maine, from what I can gather. And this is most likely from the early 60s. Some are suggesting 1962, which would uh, make sense given the age range of the other stuff. Hmm. Let's have a drink of that. Oh, cheers. cheers. That's pretty tasty, folks. Mm, just like Kool-Aid. 
Next up, what do we got? Oh, this lovely bottle of Shabam! Shabam! Sparkle! That one cleaned up pretty good too. The ACL stayed really well on it. I wonder what was the date on that one. It looks like a 59. And this one is out of uh, Presque Isle, Maine and Machias, Maine. Seven fluid ounces. Now, we are not in the United States, but we're right handy to the border. And it seems the people that threw this trash away enjoyed doing cross-border shopping in Callis, Maine, it would appear. <laughs> what else we got there? This lovely model. And speaking of, yes, Callis, Maine, this nice embossed Beckett and Company from Callis, Maine. That's got to be a soda bottle. Hmm. And the date on this one is 1947, which is a little bit older than the other ones. So it's looking like the age of this stuff is from the late 40s to the mid 60s, maybe. So, you know, 20 years or so. So anyways, that's that. There were some blue ones there as well. Cobalt blue Noxemas and Vix. I don't have them all up here, but i got a bunch of them out of there. So anyways, we're going to go back. This was just a solo one for myself. Jane's going to join me on the next one. Because there's just a ton of soda bottles there. And some that I've never seen before. So Hang tight for that, folks. And uh, we got a bunch of other, like some old 1800s uh, bottles to post too. And uh, a couple good digs there too. Including Jane in those ones. Woo! All right. <laughs> yeah, say goodbye, Jane. Say goodbye, Jane. <laughs> Over and out, folks. Have a great day.